There's a nonprofit called Alta Vista on Track that's all about promoting Alta Vista, and part of their job was to put together this really neat art and antique and craft store. And I paid a visit to see what they had. To uh, older folks, as what department store? Smiths. And then later on, it became uh, uh, s several other things actually over its life. Other things. Yeah. Pope's was one. Um, it's been a couple of different furniture stores. And then it was a mattress shop most recently. Now, you've got a gentleman here, an artist here who's doing work. You know, that is so fun. I, I, as an artist myself, I enjoy going out and painting with an audience. Uh, of course, well, being on camera, I guess I'd like anything with an audience. But it's so much fun to actually have people interact with the artist and see what they do. It is. I have really enjoyed it. Um, I found out that he letters his paintings. He puts uh, scripture on the paintings mm -hmm. and to do that he actually turns it upside down. So that was quite interesting to me. Uh, very similar to the Kincaid paintings. Kincaid actually does uh, does that as well. Um, as we continue walking on through, uh, this vinyl and pop art looks like people have taken and they've combined some phonograph records and framed them and made some really neat art. Yes, he's done that, and he also teaches guitar lessons, so those will be starting soon. Um, I have to point out, too, we have some wonderful photography. Uh, Over on the back wall here, uh, to the left, we've got... Uh, that is beautiful work. And uh, is this that someone local has shot these photographs? Yes, Ricky Simpson, who is local, um, did those. And if you'll see the woodpecker, it um, the berry is suspended oh, in midair going into his mouth. I just think it's it's wonderful. That is beautiful. Well, let's continue on through the store. Uh, we've got uh, more artwork, uh, some folk yeah. style artwork. I'm going to pass this one by because I wanted to get on down here. We've got another artist here who is working as well, and uh, and again. Oh, Beautiful work. Beautiful watercolors. This is Pat Muller, and she lives nearby also. And Pat, you are working in watercolors, correct? She's working in watercolors. Beautiful work. I love that. Well, let's continue on. Our visit here is uh, much shorter than that of your normal customer. As we walk on down, there's one artist here that I wanted to take a look at as well, simply because she sh shares the name of somebody in my family, Karen Blazing. Beautiful work. Yes, she lives here in town in Hurt, and she does absolutely gorgeous work. A lot of her uh, paintings have been featured in national magazines and galleries, so we are just thrilled to have her here with us. Uh, she was in painting um, a couple of days ago. She started on this painting, and she, the painting started off with trees. I came back a few minutes later. The trees were gone, so it's just really neat to watch the artist work. So Edie, tell me about the beautiful set that we have here with this uh, this wonderful artwork and jewelry. We actually have a family that um, that shares this booth. Uh, Marvin Hirschberger does the paintings. His wife, um, Sally, does the um, jewelry over here, and then their daughter Cheryl does painted jewelry. Speaking of jewelry, let's go to this front counter real quick and take a look at what you have here. This is absolutely stunning stuff. I love this. It is. It's different from um, anything that I've seen in this area. Um, this is Mrs. Rosia Thomas, and she is from Madison Heights, and she creates all of this. Alta Vista Art and Antiques at 623 Broad Street in downtown Alta Vista, 434-309-1375. Coming up in a couple of minutes, our producer Emily Robinson goes to the satellite wall to find out what's happening with our national health system and how good our health is. That's next on LHOV.